Item number. SCP-039. Object class. Euclid. Description. SCP-039 consists of 23 instances of Nasilis lavartus, or proboscis monkey, who have been subject to radical anatomical changes. The eyes and mouth of SCP-039 are absent, leaving the face bare, save for the nose and its accompanying nasal passages. Instances of SCP-039 possess acute auditory and tactile senses to compensate for lack of eyesight, relying mostly on physical contact with objects to perceive them, and on loud nasal snorts as a sort of echolocation to help them navigate in their environment. Necropsies have also revealed that the digestive system is absent. How instances of SCP-039 obtain nutrition, or alternatively, how they survive without it, is still a subject of research. Instances of SCP-039 display signs of sapience, examples of which include communication via nasal snorts, an understanding of spoken English, and complex understanding of machinery. Adult instances have demonstrated the ability to operate mechanical tools, and possess the ability to repair and manufacture various pieces of technology, such as disassembling and reassembling an internal combustion engine, and efficiently wiring a small apartment room. Testing has shown that SCP-039 appear to work more efficiently individually rather than in groups, as instances of SCP-039 will often become distracted by one another. Occasionally when working, instances of SCP-039 will clutch their abdomens and emit distressed vocalizations. If food is located nearby, they will attempt to smear their faces with the substance. It is currently hypothesized that this indicates that SCP-039 is the result of artificial manipulation of normal nasalis larvatus specimens, with documents recovered during containment supporting this hypothesis. See Addendum 039-A. SCP-039 is capable of reproduction and digestion not unlike nasalis larvatus. As of the time of this writing, five instances of SCP-039 have been born. SCP-039 show a very close bond among their species, with newborns often being cared for by all capable adults. New instances are born with anatomical anomalies similar to other instances of SCP-039, but lack the knowledge of other instances. Parent instances will educate newborns on communication and basic skills until they reach the age of six months, at which point technological ability will be taught by other adult instances. SCP-039 were recovered from an uninhabited research facility 50 kilometers from the nearest town of Nevada. Documents recovered during containment place ownership of the facility under a company funding research of the advancement of natural human ability. 20 instances of SCP-039 had apparently been living in and maintaining the facility for an unknown period of time. Additional recovered documents indicate that a project was being conducted to augment human intelligence. This project appears to have been cancelled shortly before the company's collapse, with the assets sold to an unnamed group. Further research into and the groups that acquired its assets has revealed several other anomalous objects, including SCP-1513. Special Containment Procedures All instances of SCP-039 are to be contained in Site-77's Wilderness Observation Chamber, 2B. At least two security personnel are to monitor the interior and exterior of SCP-039's chamber, and are to rotate every six hours. Staff members may not access SCP-039's chamber without an accompanying escort from site security, and may only do so for research purposes, or for the examination of the chamber for containment sabotage or contraband, which is to occur weekly. As of September 18, 2000, SCP-039-8 has become pregnant. Responsibility for its containment has been reassigned to personnel in the Veterinary Observation Wing. Addendum A. One additional instance of SCP-039 was discovered during containment operations of SCP-1328. Agents are currently following up on any reports indicating the existence of further instances outside of containment. Addendum B. Several documents recovered during initial containment appear to notate the early prototyping stage of SCP-039's development. Research has begun to develop a way to recreate the process that creates new SCP-039 instances, 
However, the damage the notes had accumulated prior to containment has rendered many of them unreadable.